Hello and welcome to Chicken Tuesday. Today I thought we would take a closer look at one of the girls, Beryl. So I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about her because uh, we've been focusing quite a lot on uh, the lovely Matilda recently. So I think we'll give some of the other girls some light, limelight. <laughs> Morning girls. Oh, what's happened there? Morning. Are you coming out? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are you coming down here? Come on then. Oh, there's Colin. Not impressed. following me. I'm going to chop up doing this backwards. I am. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So let's talk about Beryl. Beryl is a copper black Moran's cross, so a hybrid, I guess you would say. Um, although she has quite a lot of the characteristics of a copper black Moran's. So she's got silver, <laughs> she keeps walking away from me, silver legs. Um, she's more brown in the body than black. And she has got copper tinges around her neck. Although she's got too many, even if she was, you know, if she was a, a pure breed, her colouring would be wrong. But she is a little darling. She is bottom of the pecking order, but as happy as Larry. She doesn't get put upon too often. Uh, and because she's bottom of the pecking order, she tears about, if there's any food, any treats going, she's right in there, grabs it from from the, the wherever the treats are, from the bowl or from the, even from the mouth of another chicken, <laughs> grabs and runs. So she gets plenty of nosh. She, if she does get pecked, she just bounces back. She, it doesn't seem to phase her at all. She's a happy little girl, aren't you? She is so nice. And actually, shape-wise, if I could get her to stand still long enough, shape-wise, she's a real nice chicken shape. Oh, boom. the camera nudged there because this boy is trying to get in on the action. Now, you're a bit close for comfort there. You know you'll get chased, Colin. But she is, yeah, Beryl is a nice chicken shape if there, 
is such a thing. And if she stand when she stands up alert, it's particularly noticeable. And yeah, she's just a lovely girl. She lays six days out of seven, like clockwork. So she does lay a lot of eggs. And her eggs are quite large and matte brown, a sort of mid-brown, and they're matte in, in sort of look. And at the same time as getting Beryl, I got um, Edith, who's the other Copper Black Moran's cross, and she lays the same colour of egg, but it's glossy. So one lays a matte egg, that's Beryl, and the other is, lays a glossy egg, and that is Edith. Edith has disappeared into the undergrowth somewhere. So we're down at a, a sort of unkempt, unkempt part of the garden right now. I should give it a strim. But um, the girls like coming down here and having a route around because there tends to be a bit more in the way of insect life and also the grass is a bit longer for them to nibble. And Colin is here too, aren't you Colin? Never one to shirk from attention. Yes. So yeah, there's the odd weed and long grass etc down here but that's okay that's okay so yeah that's beryl beryl the peril aptly named gets into everything don't you beryl Running chickens. Beryl. Beryl. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, there she is. Come on then. Oh, you're missing out. 